we're making a loaf today and not any type of loaf. This is a spiced chocolate ripple loaf. <gasps> a mouthful, but <laughs> <laughs> that probably means it's going to taste sensational. Trish, how do we make it? It's my favourite cake. Is it? <laughs> it is, is that actually. about every chocolate no. cake you make for me? No, I mean, I really do love this cake. It's a beauty because the chocolate has got that beautiful mixed spice through it and it's just the most moist and delicious cake oh, ever. sounds good. So what are you doing there? <laughs> OK, so in the bowl we've got the butter and we've got half a block of Philly cheese, which has been really well softened. That'll help to prevent um, lumps, lumps and things mm. Mm, mm. with the sugar. And then we can add the sugar to that as well. And then we can just cream that. So while that's happening, mm -hmm. Justine, can you get on and get the chocolate ready for me? Fantastic. So milk chocolate here. Mm -hmm. That's a, a block of the Cadbury milk chocolate. We need to break that up into the little pips. Breaking that up so that it's an even shape means that it'll melt easily and quickly also. And then my favourite ingredient to add to the chocolate that gives it a really different flavour and makes it really quite delicious is the addition of some mixed spice. Wonderful. That's it there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And it does. Just the smell of it. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's one of those sweet spices, the, mm. the mix there. It works wonderfully with chocolate, doesn't it? It's one of those cakes that when you're cooking it in the kitchen, it just has the most amazing aroma. Yeah. But while you're doing that, yes. I'll put the mixer on mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get beating here. Okay. Okay, so I need to put in three eggs. them one at a time? Yeah, I usually like to check the eggs before I add them. And uh, putting them in one at a time just helps the uh, creamed ingredients sort of absorb them better, yeah. I think. Otherwise, they tend to curdle really quickly. Okay. There we go. Oh, out you come. Okay. How are we going there with the chocolate? Looking good. I'm just making sure I'm looking after it for you, Trish. <laughs> I don't want it to split. So just a, a really gentle heat over that bain -Marie. OK, that looks really well creamed now and the eggs are through, so I'm going to turn that down. Need to add a little bit of vanilla. Mm. Delicious. Mix that through. And we need some dry ingredients too. OK, tell me about the dry ingredients. I can do that for you, measure All it right. out. So we just need a, a cup and a third of self-raising flour and a little bit of baking powder. So um, self-raising and baking powder, is this going to give it a, an extra lift? Yeah, it just gives a little extra lift. This is a, a fairly heavy sort of butter cakey mixture, a bit more like a pound cake in some respects. Yeah. This is ready to go. We just need to... And just half a teaspoon mm -hmm. in that. Yep, beautiful. And give it a good... Yep, sift. just sift it through, get through to the lumps. Done. OK, so we can start to add that. I might actually do it... With a spoon might be easiest. So again, a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. OK. At this stage, we don't need to beat it furiously. We just want to incorporate the flour. If you actually beat it too much now, it tends to toughen it up. So okay. we only want to just mix those ingredients through. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do that while yeah, you thanks. do that, Trish? Just keep an eye on it. Because it's quite wet to start with this mixture and we're not adding extra, it actually goes in quite nicely. It's just a matter of bringing it all together, which I'll just give it a little bit more. It's a little soft in the centre, so it incorporates everything in and then we'll be good to go. Great. Great, so I'm going to take that off now. That mix just come together beautifully. Yeah, it's light and fluffy. Yeah, it's lovely. Let's get that excess off the beaters. And this chocolate, you can you can smell as soon as that hit the heat, like when it starts mm. to come together, you could smell the spices. The spice in it is amazing. And just the trick with melting the chocolate, if the water's getting a little too hot underneath, mm. it's probably a good idea to take the bowl off and let it just melt with the heat within yeah. the bowl. This is good enough to eat like this. <laughs> Strangely enough, it is. Strangely enough. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> All, All right. right. So what we need to do is to break the cake batter into four or into quarters and start to pop that into the base of the loaf pan. So this is where the ripple comes in, uh -huh. where you want sections of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it marbles later on. That's right. So you spread it over the base and then you can add a third of the chocolate mixture. Okay. That so will work really well. So say thirds here. No, it doesn't have to be... No, we want it to be exact. Oh, Trish. come on. I want it to be the perfect ripple cake. <laughs> a little bit more. We're going to enter it in the show then. <laughs> okay. okay, and then you can just spread that roughly over the top. 
Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, unless you're going to enter it in the show. If you're going to do that, well. All right, mm. so that's fine. If it's rough, it won't matter because that sort of adds to the ripple effect. Of course. Here's another quarter. And then we put some more chocolate. Mm -hmm. So spread that over. OK, so that's the next half of the cake. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. It's a big That'll do. Blob up there. Hang on. Fix that out. Push it up. We'll make sure we don't leave oh, any of that my, chocolate. It's my turn. Hang on. It's your turn. Your yeah, turn. I forgot. <laughs> Spreading it out. Okay. The last lot of the chocky. Chocky goes in. Oh, another blob. Sorry, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> it starts to get a little thicker as you progress. So. Leave that That's kind of that last bit off. Yeah, all right. And I better have a taste. I, just, I was going to say, I bet you put that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. That beautiful milk chocolate layer. And I see more chocolate here. No. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Shall I open that for you? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the rest of this batter in there. Come so on. I'm opening that. And how would you like me to chop this chocolate? Look, we fish? need to use about half a block, and I think it looks best if it's really roughly chopped, to be honest. Okay, half a block then. Yep. All you need to do with that is just to, yeah, really roughly chop it. Mm -hmm. I've finished up. And you don't want this to be, you know, just big pieces, little yeah, pieces. Yeah, just rough. Yeah. I think it's nice when it just sits on the top and looks almost sort of chunky and rusty. Yeah. It's beautiful. So we're ready to go there. Now, it's going to cook in the oven, 180 degrees, so a moderate oven, for around about an hour. It's quite a dense cake, so it will take a while. Um, if you've got a fan-forced oven, you'll reduce the temperature maybe by, you know, 15, 20 degrees, mm -hmm. depending on your oven. Sometimes it's a little more than that. And around about an hour, but always underset to make sure that you, uh, well, don't overcook it. You can't come back from overcooked. So yeah. better to set low and check and... A little sprinkle there. Mm-hmm. OK. Hang on, just pop a... Push a couple of those out a bit. You said all different Sorry. sizes. Sorry, I did say different sizes. I'm just, yes, it's, there's random and there's too random. <laughs> <laughs> there right. we go, beautiful. Looks good. I'll pop that in the oven and okay. one hour. She said, thereabouts. It's my favourite, seriously. It's the most delicious cake I've had in a long time. Yeah. I'm going to have a taste at the end. Oh. Because you don't usually like to serve the end, but I like that just a little bit of crunchiness. Oh, well, a crunchy end's good, you know. Mm. Somebody's mm. got to... Somebody has to try it, make sure it's OK. Mm. Mm. Like I said before, I know I keep ranting on about it, but mm. the spices in that mm. with the milk chocolate is a winner. No wonder why that's your favourite, Trish. I told you. It's a beauty.